Um, in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a Burger Time restaurant uh, in Minecraft. Now, I'm honestly just gonna go ahead. You already probably already saw it, but I'm gonna go ahead and reveal the next city build because you guys are gonna see the next city build anyway. It's like, yeah. So, um, but yeah. So before I start here, I'm gonna reveal the next city build. That's right, guys. Long John Silver's will be the next city build tutorial on the channel. So definitely look forward to that. But yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought I'd have to reveal that because you guys, you, I mean, heck, when I moved over there, you probably already saw it, so. But yeah, here's Burger Time. Now, the thing about Burger Time, it's not, it's 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 a really, it's a different restaurant than most restaurants. So, rest, most restaurants, obviously, you go in, you get your food, you know, you eat inside and everything. But with this restaurant, literally, all it is is a kitchen. It's a kitchen and then, like, a bathroom inside there. That's literally all it is. It's just a kitchen, literally. So, it's like, you know, you come in here, you can park your cars, um, you're just like, trash cans and stuff here you can like walk up to the restaurant itself and like order on foot or you could take the drive through right here a little drive through window right there and there's like a menu board i never put menu boards but i thought i'd put one this is obviously the entrance into the restaurant i'll show you guys the inside at the end um but you can yeah, you can also eat you know if, uh outside so yeah you can get your food here and then yeah there's some outdoor eating areas here so you got like some folded up umbrellas right here and yeah, just overall, just sweet eating area. We got some lights under here to illuminate the place, you know, when it's dark. And yeah, I think I did really well with this build. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it today. So yeah, this thing has a drive through obviously. So it's a fast food restaurant. So yeah, I've never made a build like this before. So yeah, this is definitely a first. But anyway, guys, yeah, let's get on with this tutorial. So um, a 33 by 41 block area is what you need for your grid. So uh, definitely make that. Um, yeah, if you guys do not make the grid, you are not going to understand how to do anything because I make my, I base my instructions on the grid. So if you guys do not make the grid, you're not going to understand a single thing I say. So, or you're not, maybe you'll understand the thing I say, but you won't understand what to do. So yeah, make yourself this grid. Okay, um, materials you're going to need, you're going to need yourself some white concrete, uh, white concrete, uh, sea lanterns, um, or any sort of light block. It doesn't have to be sea lanterns. Um, gray concrete, yellow wool, smooth stone. Um, red shulker boxes, end rods, black concrete, door, uh, glass pane, quartz slab, leaves, quartz stairs, um, what is the scaffolding, <laughs> sorry, iron bars, red banner, loom, and then you're also going to need white and red dye as well. Um, if you guys do not know how to make banner letters, I will leave a banner letter tutorial in the description box below for those that don't know how to make banner letters, but if you do know how to make banner letters, obviously you don't need to watch it. Um, but of course you can watch it still if you want to as well, so. But anyway. Uh, yeah, why don't we start this? So, I already have the materials on me, like always. Um, let me just uh, move these up here, just because I have OCD and I don't like it like that. There we go. Okay, so, materials you're going to need right now, we're going to make the drive through and the parking lot area. So, you're going to need some black concrete. You are going to need, or not black concrete, sorry. You don't need black concrete, my bad. You need gray concrete, or uh, yeah, grass block, uh, gray concrete, uh, oak leaves, smooth stone, yellow wool and you're gonna need your white concrete as well and I believe that's it yep that's it okay good and uh yeah or actually you know what well oh well, no we'll grab the outside eating area materials uh, later um but yeah uh let's go ahead and start this thing so oh uh, what you're gonna want to do um let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so you're gonna come to the left side of your grid with your gray concrete and you're gonna go it's like, yeah, so you see the left side here. Obviously, you guys know where I'm at. Okay, you're gonna dig out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that is, whoops, ten. There we go. Um, now, this is obviously a lot more than we usually dig out. We usually dig out four uh, or three for the drive through. Um, but uh, we're digging out a lot more because one, we're making a drive through, and two, we're also making the entrance into the parking lot. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, next thing, next thing, next, you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go, you're gonna wanna count in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're gonna wanna count seven blocks with the, so you see where you have your gray concrete, you're gonna count in by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on that seventh block, not the eighth, but the seventh. Uh, so we're not leaving a gap of seven, we're leaving just, you know, we're just counting in to seven. On the seventh block, you're gonna extend it all the way up to the top of the grid. And uh, you're gonna do the same for the other ones going left. Um, so not for the ones going right, but for the ones going left. So we're going to make a seven block long, um, um, 
you know, um, drive through. Yeah, sorry, I don't know why I couldn't think of it. Yeah. So this is the drive through now. I'm decided to, I've actually finally made my drive throughs a lot bigger. You can actually fit cars in them now. Um, as you know, my most of my drive throughs are like literally three blocks wide. Um, they're not three blocks long, but they're three blocks wide. It's just, it's ridiculously small. So obviously I made them a lot bigger so you can actually fit cars in them. Uh, but yeah, so then once you've dug those out, you're going to fill that in and I'll be right back once I've done that. Alright guys, once you have uh, filled in this with your gray concrete, um, you're going to go ahead and you're going to, well, yeah, let's go ahead and extend it around the back. So, there's, once you've done that, you're going to count in by seven. So that's one, two, so from the, uh, so from the end, you're going to count in by seven. Uh, one, two, three. Seven, obviously at this very last row of seven here, um, counting by seven here, um, you know, uh, so like, it's like we saw, if you guys are really confused here, come to the top here, come to this last row, right, last row, you're going to go in by seven, you're going to like, uh, dig out seven blocks, and fill it in with the gray concrete, there we go, so that's a much easier way of explaining it, and then that's going to be the back of your parking lot or your uh, drive through so uh, and then extend this over by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm gonna go ahead and extend it over by 20. All seven of these rows are gonna extend over by 20. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20. All right, and then obviously uh, you're gonna dig out uh, the rest of these uh, blocks here like this Oops Not there make sure it's around the grid here. All right. Yeah dig out obviously all those Blocks right there all that grass fill them with the gray concrete and I'll be back once I've done that Okay, and then once you have done that um, You're gonna go <coughs> or, Sorry, excuse me. Um, what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna come to this uh, the end here like this You're gonna dig out um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, and then you're obviously going to dig this out all the way to the end of the grid, like so. Uh, like that. I'm not going to do this all on camera because, you know, it takes forever and it takes time in the video. Uh, but yeah, you're going to, oops, number not out there. Um, and you're going to go ahead, um... Actually, don't do it to the grid yet. Don't do it to the grid yet. All right, yeah, make sure it's back from the grid. Um, yeah, uh, dig all that out. And then, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Extend all this over to here as well. Uh, or wait, maybe not seven. Hold up. Hold up, I'm trying to make sure this is... Okay, no, not seven. You want five. My bad. You want five, not seven. Okay. So not uh, not seven, but you want five, all right? Um, so, yeah, extend out five going over here. Obviously, dig out all those blocks. Oh, dig out all that grass, you know, and then fill it in, and then I'll be right back once I've done all that. All right, guys, and once you have done that, remember, uh, my screen's glitching out. Okay, there we go. Um, you want to have five going this way, so not seven, but five but you want seven going this way. Okay, so once you've done that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this front part here. Um, okay, so what you're gonna wanna do, is you're gonna come to this row of seven right here, right? Come to the end here, you're gonna dig out one, two, three, four, where the grid is, okay? Um, and then uh, dig out the middle of this here, put it, fill it in with grass, um, and then we'll go ahead and put oak leaves. Or actually, you know what? That doesn't really make sense to do that. Actually, go ahead and knock out seven instead of four because, you know, the drive through and stuff. So honestly, just go ahead and knock out seven. All right. Uh, it doesn't make any difference with the building or anything. So, and yeah, that just leaves that little bit of square space right there for the building. And yeah. And uh, yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and make the parking lot itself. So uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, um, first of all, Go ahead and put, um, go ahead and put, uh, well, actually don't put leaves yet. You want to, um, okay. 
So see, this is the tricky part right here. So don't place the leaves yet, because if you start del deleting all that and placing the leaves, you're not going to know anything we're going to do, and I don't want to have to count all that. So um, really what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to this part here. So let's see where it's by the grid. Um, and yeah, this part here. Um, you guys can see where I'm at. All right, you're going to dig out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then place white concrete. You're going to leave a gap of three, or you can just dig out the top row there and place yellow wool. And then dig this out and place seven. Yeah, place, you know, the white concrete. Um, one, two, three. You know, dig that out and place white concrete like that. All right, and then extend that all the way to the end and uh, fill them in with the gray concrete. And then, yeah, I'll be right back once I've done that. All right, guys, and once you have uh, done that, so, you know, gap of three and then the seven, um, and then they're, they're, it's not going to reach the end 100%. So, uh, also, yeah, you're going to have to grab yourself some quartz slab. I forgot to say that. Very sorry about that. But you're going to, you know, place a row quartz slab as long as big as the row white, extend it over by two on the sides, and then connect it, and then place leaves in the middle. Kind of have that old modern leaf design I like to use, the bush design. But, yeah, all right. So, once you've done that, um, you're going to dig uh, in between the grids. So do not dig the grid out when you're doing this. You're gonna dig out um, all this grass here. Um, and then, yeah, just all this grass right here, um, you know, between the parking lot and then the grid. And you're gonna replace it with smooth stone. And then I'll be back once I've done that. All right, guys. And once you have filled it in with the, you know, dug it out and filled it in with the smooth stone, you also want to dig out the grid going around it and place uh, leaves going all the way around it. And then once you have done that, uh, and also, yeah, that's why I said make the leaves a lot, do the leaves after, you know, make the parking lot and everything because it makes it a lot easier to know where it goes and everything without having to count it. And yeah, uh, so once you've done that, I'm going to show you guys how to make the outside eating area. So you're going to put your uh, materials away and you're going to grab quartz stairs, scaffolding, iron bars, and red banner. And what you're going to do is you're going to literally, um, uh, you're going to leave a gap of one. So you're going to come to the right side, right, right side of the parking lot. You're going to leave a gap of one from the end here, and you're going to put a stair going all the way around like this. You're going to place scaffolding, and then on top of the scaffolding, you're going to place a row of three iron bars, and then all the way around the iron bars, you want to place the red banner. Um, this is meant to look like a folded up umbrella. And if you guys uh, don't know, I made a Del Taco. I made an outside eating area with Del Taco, and it also had outside eating area. It had the very same, you know, folded up umbrella design. And then what you're going to want to do for the, the next few ta the next tables, for every single one of the tables, you're going to leave a gap of one, put scaffolding, iron bars, and then the red banners around it. And you're going to do the same thing all the way around. Remember, leave like a gap of one from each table until you can't go anymore. And yeah, I'll be right back once I've done that. All right, guys. And then um, once you have done that, sorry, I'm trying to adjust the camera. Okay. Once you've done that, um, you were going to go ahead. And as you can see, you know, you can't go any further, so... Once you've done that, um, that is the parking lot in the outside eating area complete. So now we can work on the building. So you can put these materials away for now. Um, you're going to go ahead and grab yourself some red concrete, uh, white concrete, uh, black stained glass. Um, go ahead and grab some end rod, black concrete, uh, oak doors, um, and uh, I think that's, oh wait, and um, why don't I have it on me? Um, sea lanterns or, you know, any sort of light block. And yeah, once you grab those materials, uh, we, can, we can go ahead and start with this building. So, okay, so literally what you're gonna do is you're going to make a square box going all the way around, a red box going all the way around, leaving one block away from the drive-through. So you're gonna go ahead you're going to make this red square going all the way around. Remember to keep one block away from either end each time you're going all the way around like that. So you should have something which looks uh, like that so far. All right. Once you've done that, um, I don't know which side we should start with first. Uh, actually, you know what? Before we do anything, extend each of the corners up by four. So that's one, two, three, four. Yep. Extend each of the corners up by four. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, like that, all right? Um, all right, and the next thing you're gonna wanna do 
is you're gonna want to place um, um, a red, you're gonna wanna, you, know, um, you could have actually extended them up by five, um, and it corners off by five, but it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and put uh, this like top on here. I don't really know what to call this, uh, just to kind of top it all up like this. Uh, so we got like this big old like rectangle framing here for the building, uh, which obviously we will fill in with blocks. Um, so you're going to start with the back. You're going to extend this part out by one on either side, all out by one. Okay. Uh, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing on, so for the right and left side, six, seven, eight, nine, you're only going to go all the way up till nine. So that's, um, and also you don't want to connect the corners. You want to make sure there's like this little cut in the corner here and you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Remember, leaving a little cut in the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like that, all right? And then uh, what you're going to want to do for these little weird extending parts, whatever, I don't know what the frick they're called. Um, you can actually go ahead and actually extend this over by 10. Um, like this on the sides. Oops, like that. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and extend it forward. That 10th block, you're going to extend it forward. And actually, you can go ahead and extend these sides up by two. Uh, go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Extend sides up by two. And then this 10th block, you're going to go ahead and extend out by one. And then um, four. All right, and then what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna want to um, kind of do a diagonal like that. And you're gonna do one, two, three, four, like this, um, as you can clearly see. Um, and then another diagonal, and then you're gonna extend this all the way to the end, like that. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So remember, coming out diagonally, one, two, three, four, and then do another diagonal like this. And then uh, you guys can obviously see what we're doing here. Um, it's fairly easy to remember. It's very easy to remember. And then go ahead, fill the bottoms in with the sea lanterns um, like this. These bottoms, these little extended out parts. Extend them with sea lanterns. Oh, and then uh, this back part here, obviously you can extend this up. This part that we extended out, extend it up by two like that. Okay, and now for the rest of this, obviously, uh, by the way, the rest of this can just be extended over like uh, like this. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Um, okay, and then uh, next thing you're gonna wanna do for the front, you're literally just going to put, um, you're gonna extend this uh, part out like this and then extend it up by two. And then this is where we're gonna write burger time. Like that, all right? And then after that, you are going to place a diagonal row going above here. Um, you can actually kind of do this. Uh, go ahead and ex cut out the corners like that, like we've always been doing, and fill that in. Uh, so yeah, make sure all the corners are, you know, cut like this. All the corners are like that. So make sure you do that all the way, all the way around. So kind of like, here, I'll do the framing for you, but I'm not going to do the entire roof for you guys. Uh, since obviously it's not needed. Um, yeah, make sure again, all the corners are cut like that. Um, make sure the corners fold and then there's like a cut in the, in the corner like that. You guys can see what I'm doing there. Um, all right. And then let's see, do you, all right. So, but you don't do the cut, the cut corners for these extended parts. Do not do that for those. Um, and then of course, fill in the roof with the red and then I'll be right back once I've done that. All right, guys, once you've filled in the roof at the top there, I've actually made a little bit of a mistake, but it's a tiny mistake. You actually want this front part, you actually want to extend back out by another row, and then these sides, you can actually go ahead and, uh, you know, fill those into there like that, um, because I was going to put in the, the lantern, the beacon, and then I saw that this wasn't, um, yeah, and then that this wasn't extended out. So, yeah, and then obviously dig out the bottom, place the lantern, and there you go. So, yeah, that's actually what you want to do there. Um, and then, of course, obviously, you can go ahead and extend this out, but, of course, you don't actually have to if you don't want to. Um, just extend that forward. But, yeah, honestly, no, I recommend doing that, so honestly, just go ahead and do that. All right, and once you've done that, that is the roof complete, um, but the building, obviously, is not complete. Usually, when the roof is done, the building's done, but 
not this time. So actually, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and fill in the sides with white all the way around. Just fill them in with white, white, and then, yeah, I'll be right back once I have done that. All right, and then once you've filled in the walls with white, um, we're going to go ahead and make the windows now. But actually, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and make this back part here. So um, let me make sure that this is two. Yes, that's two. Okay, sorry. I had to make sure. Okay. So you're going to come to the back of burger time like this, okay? Come to the very back. You're going to um, leave a gap of two from the end, and then you're going to dig out two blocks, and then that's where you're going to place your door that goes inside burger time. And then to make the menu board, literally, you're going to leave a gap of, let's see. Okay, you're going to leave a gap of one from the end. So, like, you see the back here? Leave a gap of one from the end. Oops, not like that. I'm going to place it on the ground. And leave a gap of three, and then place another end rod. Um, oops, don't put glass. What am I doing? Um, place black concrete, two rows of black concrete on top. And you can write stuff, you know, you can put, like, uh, item frames and paintings and or not paintings, um, well, you can put paintings if you want, and, like, signs or whatever, but I was too lazy to do that, but, yeah, so there's your menu board, and then, obviously, now we can go ahead and make the windows, um, so, literally, for the drive through window, you're gonna leave a gap of one from the end, and you're gonna dig out one, two, three, four, and another row of four, and then you're, for the, and then for the top half, you're gonna place glass, but then for the bottom half, you're gonna leave a gap of one, so you can actually, you know, have an open place here, do you know, to serve the food. So you actually want to leave a gap of one from the, from there. Um, and then, uh, for this one, you're going to leave a gap of three. Um, for the front window, literally all you do is you leave a gap of three. And then you dig out one, two, three, four. And make sure there's a gap of three on that end as well. And then, uh, with this one, obviously, you leave a gap of, you're going to leave a gap of two for the front here. And that's obviously the serving window for if you walk up to the restaurant. And yeah, the bird, the building is pretty much done now. But obviously, we're going to go ahead and add some trash cans. So you can actually put away your materials, but grab red concrete and then grab um, the red shulker box like this. And then you can put the trash can really wherever, but um, three, four, five, six. But the way I did it, uh, I lift a gap of six. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, I mean, honestly, just put them wherever. It doesn't really matter where you put them exactly, but it's just, you know, that's just what those, like, big red trash cans is what they look like. I don't want to use, like, just regular cold ones because it looked boring. But, yeah, guys, uh, that is burger time 100% complete. All we have to do now is just uh, clear out all our materials because we are completely done with this tutorial. Uh, well, except, of course, we got to put the banner signs on. Um, but like I said, um, um, if you guys don't know how to make banner signs, I will leave a banner letter tutorial in the description box below for those that don't know how to make banner letters. But, uh, yeah, so let's go back here. I'm not sure if we should leave a gap of one. No, no gaps. So no gaps. You're going to come to this front part here, right? The very bottom. You're going to write B U R G E R. Leave a gap of one T I M, or no, sorry, gap of two, my bad, gap of two, sorry, T, I, M, E, and there you go, guys, burger time, right there, that is how you make it, that is how you, yeah, that's pretty much how you make burger time in Minecraft, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, uh, this was a quick tutorial, honestly, I just had to cut out a bunch of parts, make it shorter, and yeah, there we go, here's burger time, um, here's the original version, obviously it's the same thing, uh, I, this tutorial went better than I expected. I thought I was going to make a bunch of mistakes. I only made one mistake by not extending this part out, but obviously that was a very easy fix. Um, and, if, and sorry, I forgot to mention, for those of you guys that don't know what Burger Time is, it's obviously, it's just a burger place, cheap burger place. Um, it's, yeah, as you guys could tell by the name Burger Time, I'm sure some of you guys can figure that out. But, yeah, it's a burger place. So, come inside here. Like I said, Burger Time is literally just a kitchen. Literally, the inside is literally just a kitchen. So, in here... This is where the drive through person can man the drive through and stuff. This is where the person here can, you know, work the cash register. And then we got, like, some fridges here, which I usually never put fridges in my kitchens. You guys know that. Uh, for those that watch my older tutorials. Uh, you got, like, a sink here. Got cabinets. We got um, ovens here. Oven range. We got the fryers here. They can fry fries and tater tots. And then we got the, uh, you know, like, the stove here and whatever. And we got another fridge. 
Uh, here we got a little bathroom for the employees, obviously. Um, if you're working all day, you want a bathroom to go to if you need to go. So, yeah, there's a little bathroom in here. Um, then we just got some trash cans here. We got some... I think there's more trash cans or... No, no, no. These are the only trash cans in the place, but yeah. Um, and then obviously there's going to be a little big range here over it. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the interior, guys. Obviously, it's like... Obviously, like... You, so you'd walk... So you'd park your car. You'd walk up. You're like, hey, I want this. I want this, you know. And there'd be like a menu board up here, but I didn't put one. Uh, yeah, and get your food. You can walk over here. You can sit down and eat. Or you can take the drive through you know. You can enter here, run around here, you know. Or order your food and then get your food here and then take off. Um, and of course, when you're eating outside, when you're done eating, you throw your scraps away in the garbage like that. And that's really just how it works. So it's not a restaurant where you can eat inside. It's an outside eating restaurant, but still a really good restaurant, really good food. But yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, smash a like and subscribe to join the Amulet Squad. Road to 500 subs. Uh, turn on notifications so you won't miss an upload. Also, subscribe to my second channel, Wigan C24. Third channel, Legacy to 5 and my fourth channel, the Nostalgia Channel. We're at 100 subs on those channels. And, uh, yeah, before I peace out here, uh, even though I did do it in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna do it again, just because, you know, I, I, I just wanna, I just want to. Uh, I'm gonna reveal the next city build. And it's also for those that may have forgotten, but, yeah. Do, 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 do. There we go, guys. That's right, Long John Silvers is gonna be the next city build tutorial on the channel. So definitely look forward to that. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and by the way, um, when I re when I reveal the next city build, do not please try not to spoil it in the comments. Please do not spoil it in the comments for everyone. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Out. <laughs>